So this is a 2006 GMC Sierra, and currently we have this Kurt Triflex controller. And that is, this is your manual control here, which does me no good being how low I mounted it. Lessons learned. Your top dial here is the power input. You can see my finger as it's adjusting. And then the back is the, how aggressive it comes in. Comparing it to this Prodigy, which I'll grab. This is your power that is delivering. And this is the boost. The difference between the boost and the level here is how fast it ramps the power in where that's not adjustable on here it's all off the accelerometer but what this controller doesn't have it doesn't have the boost mode where you can tell it to be more aggressive without i guess you can adjust your power constantly but it doesn't have this feature so we're going to see which one benefits us because right now most of the time my braking on the kurt is only like three which i'm having to max out my brake controller right now to 9.9 .9, which i know i might have other issues that could be associated with that which we're going to dive into in another video but most of the time i'm only getting like a three out of power and which i guess we'll say that's only 30 percent braking and that's not doing me any good so we're going to dive into this see uh put this one and we're going to relocate it probably to here because if this controller does do something similar i want to have access to our manual control here and then during an emergency situation i can just grab this and activate those brakes versus down here I, i'm i'm out of luck if i'm in a situation i'm not going to reach under my feet to grab it so i regret putting my brake controller there it is out of the way but it does me no so as you can see this is the model a little closer you have manual brake controls power and level how aggressive it applies it so it's out one thing that the prodigy the wiring harness that came with so let me start over with the kurt the wiring harness that came with default plug to the truck so no wiring kind of just plug and play the wiring that came with this prodigy was more uh, universal and it's not uh default so what i'm going to do is since i'm not really happy with this unit i don't think a lot of big reviews about this prodigy i'm going to cut this pigtail off and splice it to here so i don't hack up my truck wiring if you need to buy a wiring harness just go on amazon they sell them all day but i wound up buying this locally at tractor supply this is where we mounted our prodigy p3 and a lot of this reasoning is because i already had some holes mounted here that had a magnet there that i never used and so i used the bottom two holes unfortunately the two top holes are exposed but when i get back i'll fill them with a screw and paint it you know with some fingernail paint the beige and the biggest reason is i wanted this where i could grab it in case of emergency the idea is you can just stick your hand down here and say give me all the brakes i know what you're saying but i need brakes so i wanted that accessible before i would literally have to reach down here find it as i'm looking at the road literally right now I take my hand off the steering wheel and it's accessible so almost it's where i can just grab and boom and get it so saying that i took our kurt triflex that came with the harness and i plugged it up with the engine off so we didn't have power and i measured out where i needed to splice in our connector so unfortunately one of the things i realized is this is probably 14 gauge wire maybe i doubt it's 12 and this is probably 16 gauge so the uh the, tr the prodigy does come with a uh, thicker wiring which i'm bottlenecking it down to here but we gotta do what we gotta do for this moment so now i have uh, some butt splices that i got at track supply when i bought this because i knew we were going to be probably doing this and i'm going to splice these together and then we'll hook it up underneath i have some loom that we're going to put on it we have some zip ties and that should 
complete the installation of our brake controller and then we just need to go uh, ops check it. Some tools we're gonna be using to do this. I have some keen tools. Pretty sure I got this from Home Depot. I have these knockoffs. No, I didn't. These are keen also. I got these from Home Depot. I was looking at some from uh, Harbor Freight but decided to, to get the name brand. And then just a pair of dikes, which you can use either tool for this. And I went ahead and stripped our wiring down. You don't need much, probably just a quarter inch. And there is two different wire sizes. I did, I could tell this one's a, a 12 gauge. And then not all of them are the same. So this is probably a 14 if this is a 12. And it is somewhat similar on this. I started noticing some wires are thicker than others, but definitely the P2 has thicker wires. So now I'm going to open it up, then use the right color per wire size i'm going to, have to do it on this side because this does have the thicker wires and if worst case scenario to make up the gap i might have to cut a little more and fold the end over just to give us a good crimp i don't like these connectors i like to use the the ones that are uh naked the without the insulation and i like putting heat shrink over it but this is what i have and it'll work for you so we have that all spliced together i use some electrical tape and it's the good electrical tape it's the oh, what's the name of this scotch 33 pretty expensive but i put our conduit and what i did is i started the wrap on the wires and then i went through the slit and then wrapped it around so our conduit can go anywhere and then i usually don't like electrical taping or connector but it secures the wires. We're gonna use some zip ties too. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna curl it around like this. And I'm gonna zip tie it to this metal bracket right here. So, so I wanna show y'all that before I have everything zip tied in place. And you can see what we got going on right now. It's saying it's um, not connected for that. So, but Alrighty, let me zip tie and then we should be ready to go get the trailer. Install complete, pretty happy. I don't know what this wire is, kind of annoys me. I don't know what I did there. But this is the conduit. I kind of wish I would have tucked it a little bit closer, which I guess I can't because the plug runs under. We got a zip tie. We got another zip tie right there. And then we're all tucked up. So it looks really good. Boom. So one thing I can already tell you I like more than this unit is the Kurt. Every time I hit the brake, the relay activated. Listen. Every time I hit the brake, this Kurt uh, did that hooked up or non-hooked up. So didn't care for that. It just didn't realize the trailer all the time. I don't know. That didn't make sense because it don't make sense. I don't know. But it did do that so that was annoying now i don't have that annoying click every time i hit the brakes even with the trailer disconnected so i'm gonna clean up my mess here and prepare to go get the trailer so i did want to show you all this wiring diagram just in case maybe you lost yours or whatever the case is this is just a generic wiring diagram and for me, I didn't need it because you can see like it's talking about putting a circuit breaker. This truck, 2006 Sierra, already came with a trailer brake built into the chassis. So I have a fuse here instead of uh, you would need to put an auto resetting circuit breaker. But what, the biggest thing I want to show you, this isn't traditional to red and black wiring as far as positive and grounds. So here black is your positive. You can see it runs straight to the to your battery with some type of fuse or breaker system red actually goes to your brake pedal and then your ground uh, is white and it goes to your negative and then the blue is actually the wire that is going to your trailer brakes itself at a trailer so what i assume is happening is when i click this and you hear that relay it from my knowledge of wiring which uh, i'm not not the best i'm not the worst but i do have a very good understanding there's most likely a relay inside this brake controller that is your click that click connects that battery to your blue wire and it's sending the voltage there i do not know how it meters the the controls because the relay is generically all or nothing but it's definitely something with that uh, there is a relay in there for sure 
but just want to show you all that the biggest thing um disconnect negative before wiring just that's a safety thing but there was a warning somewhere pretty much um white wire must be connected to a known ground but it was like do not get your black and white backwards i did read the instructions because now you're reversing your polarity and it will fry this unit so white is ground and black is your positive to the battery hey guys so i realized i didn't record an outro we did complete our trip back from texas it was a long ride back we could only go 60 miles per hour due to how the trailer was loaded but i want to give the review of the brake controller i absolutely love it and i don't know what i'm going to do with the kurt because i don't want to use nothing but the prodigy I wound up having to use the manual brake um, control a lot due to, as I said, the distribution on the trailer. The My trailer would start wagging around 65 miles per hour and having that brake, brake controller where I could grab the manual override was very helpful, especially on downhills maintaining my speed. I did love the boost mode. There was at times where I would push it up to one and it just made me feel a lot safer in what my trailer was doing. I did realize that the brake controller was not my issue with having to max it out. My brakes, my brake pads were glazed on the trailer and before we made the trip, that was all repaired and will be coming out in another video. But I'm very happy with the Priority P2 and will recommend this to anybody with a truck that you're putting a brake controller in and also any vehicle I will have in the future will have one. So that's my review. This is the how-to. I appreciate y'all watching. If you 